Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. This video features a spotlight sale. What is that? Well, I'm going to take you all the way from buying it at the Goodwill store to packing and shipping it. And in between, I'm going to show you some details behind the scenes of how I did this listing of multiple items that I sold in lots of two. With that said, let's get started. Although these cups were rather plain, I did recognize them as being restaurant wear. So I took a closer look, didn't know anything about the brand Victor, but I decided to check some comps on eBay. The first sold comp showed they sold for $10 each plus shipping. The second comp sold on make offer so they sold for less than $9.50 plus shipping. And the third comp $8.16 each plus shipping. So into my cart they went. The label said 8 pieces for $3.99 but I actually got 9 cups because one wasn't marked but it was with all the rest and they gave it to me. As it says in the title, it's a two-piece lot of Victor, that was the brand on the bottom, of heavy diner style cups or mugs, vintage, restaurant wear. And on the first sale, I sold two cups for $19.99. And on the second sale, I sold six cups. It doesn't show it here, but I sold six cups for $59.97 plus shipping. But that is the sale on eBay, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how I set this listing up. As you see, I made sure to put two piece right at the beginning of the title. I wanted to clarify right out of the gate, this was a listing for two cups. I also made sure to photograph only two cups. I always copy and paste the title into the description. I also put the condition notes in the description. I set the price at $19.99 for the two cups. And then I said I had a quantity of four. That meant I had four lots of two cups. And just a few other things, I always check mark the private listing and I always check mark require immediate payment with buy it now. One thing I didn't check in this listing is best offer. Although I take best offer on most everything I sell, let's talk about shipping. You wanna make sure that you set up the shipping to cover the two cups that you're shipping in the lot or whatever that quantity is that you're shipping in a lot. In this case, I weighed the two cups and set this up as calculated shipping choosing regular priority mail, meaning I'm not using a flat box or a flat rate. I chose regular priority. And then where it says package and dimensions, that's where you choose the weight range. It's a range. And I chose, after weighing it, two to three pounds per lot of two cups. With that said, if a buyer buys one lot or two lots or three lots, it's going to calculate each lot at the weight of two to three pounds per lot. That way you're covered and you're not going to cut yourself short on getting enough shipping. And now I'm going to show you how I packed and shipped six of these Victor coffee cups to make sure they arrive safely for my buyer. I have to admit, I felt I was taking on a little bit of a challenge with this one, but it didn't turn out to be too bad. I made a few adjustments along the way, so keep on watching and I'll show you how I pack these. And as you know, I first like to show you getting it off the shelf. I only need six cups for this sale. Not sure what I'm going to do with the extra one, but I'll set it aside. Let's wrap each cup with some tissue paper, tucking it inside and just compressing it a little bit where the handle is. I'll show you why. I'm going to speed up a lot of these clips. The next thing we want to do is protect the handle. And I'm using a swimming pool noodle that I'm going to cut to size for each handle. 
I make a little impression with my thumbnail and then I cut on that line. And I'm going to use this piece as my template to make all the rest. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this little piece, but I'm not going to throw it away. But it's a good thing I bought about 20 of these at the end of the season. Do you have pool noodles on hand for packing? If you do, leave a comment below. After all six are cut, we need to cut a little wedge out in each one, about three quarters of an inch, or whatever the width of your handle is. Let's check the fit looks good let's cut the rest of them and I'm going to speed this up this is working out pretty good each coffee cup has its little snuggie its little swimming pool noodle to protect the handle But they need more protection than just tissue paper. We're going to use six 12 by 12 inch squares of large half inch bubble wrap. That's what we're going to use to wrap each cup. And I use Scotch brand heavy duty shipping and packaging tape. That's my favorite. Placing the cup on the diagonal, just going to fold up all four sides and tape it well and repeat the process for the other cups. Now that they're all wrapped, we need to figure out what size box we need. So I gathered all six of them together and took a measurement. The length, the width, the height. But I also decided to check them if they were stacked in a box. Three on the bottom, three on top. I decided to go with a regular priority mailbox. It's inside dimension. 12 by 12 by 8. I do a little test fit and everything looks good, but we need some more filler. Styrofoam peanuts. It's a good thing they came in just in time for this sale. I was out of them. If you know my pack and ship videos, you know I like to cross lay large bubble wrap in the box before placing the actual item. I tried this, but it didn't work. I had to remove it. I also tried with the handles on the outside edge of the box, the handles on the inside, alternating handles. Ultimately, I decided to put all the handles towards the center. I still wanted to add some extra protection, so I took two sheets of 12 by 12 bubble wrap, cut them in half. Since I couldn't fit the large bubble wrap in like I wanted to, I took these half sheets and fit one on each side of the box. It needed an extra layer of cushion, and although it was a little bit snug, I made it fit. This buyer got two thank you labels. I run these 30 up on a sheet of labels. We still have room at the top, so let's fill it in with some more peanuts. Everything's fitting good. Time to get the box closed up and taped. I hope you enjoyed this spotlight sale video. I hope you give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And leave a comment. I love your comments. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.